Space Marines have always been a massive faction, oh, and man. this newest edition is no exception. It just continues to grow. New abilities, new units, tons of new units, actually. Yeah. Um, we are really excited to talk about Space Marines. There's been a lot of chatter about how they've changed, how their viability has changed. We're here to tell you that they are extremely exciting, as viable as ever. Yes. Um, and there's just a mind-bogglingly, a, a huge number of things to talk about. Oh, yeah. So we're going to dig into just our, our top you know, 10 or so changes, uh, the most important things that you want to know as far as what's going to change for your, uh, your Space Marine Army and your opponent's Space Marine Army. Let's check it out. All right, so... Um, we enjoy a space marine or two. Yeah, we've I would got say. A, we've got a few space marines. This is <laughs> this isn't even the whole collection. No, it's not. Um, uh, and the only chapter we're missing here is the the Raven Guard. They're sneaking around somewhere. Yeah, they're they're here. Okay. You just can't see them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, this army is, as you said, it's massive. It continues to be not only the largest number of data sheets, but yep. growing. Yeah. And it grew by a massive amount this time. It's nuts. Trying to pick just the top few biggest changes was really tough, but we've, we've got a handful here. We you. will. In fact, one of the biggest themes that we're seeing here is a revival of older units, too. Oh, yeah. Things are getting new abilities, they're getting brought into line with other, yeah. other things, and there's a lot more decisions to have to make. Um, there's very few auto-takes in this army because there's so many interesting options. Yeah. And uh, so here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, the biggest number one change is, of course, the introduction of the core mechanic, right? Yeah. This is something that um, I think we can expect to see a lot of in Ninth Edition. Um, yeah, this, it's this more idea. than just Space Marines. It impacts the entire game of exactly. Ninth Edition. Exactly. So uh, definitely yeah. be checking out our Necron uh, video on this same sort of concept yeah. and seeing how it's it affects crazy. them. Space Marines, however, um, are very lucky. Uh, they are a, a faction that revolves around rerolls traditionally, yes. right? They have lots of abilities. Yeah. Um, now, basically all of these abilities only affect core, right? So yeah. your captains only give uh, core reroll to one, lieutenants give the same ability on wound only to one. Yes. Chapter master, fundamentally changed, yes. now pick a single core unit and that gets full rerolls. So note that it not only only works on core now, it also is it's not an aura. Unit. It's a single unit. Yeah. So big, big changes. Um, however, and, they and have... On, there's just yeah. like so much core keyword here, right? It's like... In, it's How much of this table is core keyword? Like almost all of it? Yes, like 90% of it. And people were worried that it was going to be just like TAC Marines or something. It's more prevalent than I even thought it was, yeah. honestly. Basically, the only thing that are not core are your characters, which is a big hit to characters. Big right? hit. They're definitely not the beat sticks they used to be. And your non-dreadnought vehicles, because of course even, even, even dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts are. are core, which is big. <laughs> That's right. And there's a few little picked out units here and there that also are not, like Centurions might be a good yep. example. Sure, sure. But by and large. Everything else, dreadnoughts, yeah. bikers, infantry, mm -hmm. um, it's all core. Your your terminators, your your bikes, everything. And I think it's worth noting that um, because we're seeing this at the same time as the release of Necrons, we can see that the prevalence of this core mechanic is very much a space marine thing. This is an elite yeah. army. Most of the army is essential. There's only a few specialist units that are not core to the lore of an army, right? Yeah. Um, so if you are playing triple uh, uh, executioners, That's right. you're out of luck. But for the rest of us, the game it's is the in a better place. The than vehicle ever. gun line is now less viable than it, it is, used to yeah. be, and that wasn't a healthy way to play the game, anyways. Yeah. The way that a lot of people are playing Space Marines actually not that impacted by this no. core keyword. The Chapter Master is impacted, but that has less to do with core, more to do with how it's changed. And uh, really, if you were just playing with Captain and Lieutenant and a bunch of infantry, yep. it hasn't changed for you at all. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of which, one of the other changes is um, this idea of the chain of command, right. where um, we actually have, have a few more restrictions placed on what we can actually take. Yeah. You are now restricted to a single captain and two lieutenants in each Space Marine detachment in your army. It's a great thematic change. It's great. And no one really loved uh, spamming characters, yeah. right? Like I, the people spamming Felt them weird. maybe did, but it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't really have that idea, no. the idea that you have a captain and a chapter master mm -hmm. and like another smash captain in there. Um, it just did, it didn't work out for me. Right. Well, so the, the chapter master, they have a special provision yeah. that if you make them a chapter master, you can still have a second captain. Of course. Um, so you get a little bit more. You don't have to necessarily jump to that second detachment if you really want to. But truth be told, you don't need it. Yeah. You really don't. Um, this is not like, you know, Tau trying to get commanders back in the yeah. game. So this is a great change. Very fluffy. Still interesting. And again, the because of the core changes, you're not really wanting to run tons of Space Marine uh, captains running yeah. around smashing things anyway. Because they're just less effective, right? If you yeah. have four or five attacks and you're going to start relying, like you're, you have a Thunder Hammer and you're hitting on threes, yep. and now you're missing like two or three hits, like all of a oh. sudden they're not actually that interesting anymore. No, it's so unreliable. It's really scary. So, yeah. you know, again, I think it's for the best. Okay. Um, we talked about the fact that we're revising a lot of these units, kind of That's bringing right. them back into the fold. 
I'd personally like to uh, welcome our shorter bro <laughs> battle brothers. That's right. <laughs> They've been fighting a long time. They deserve a bit of credit. They do. They yeah. do. So all of the older Marines, the non-primaris Marines, are getting a wound buff. Yeah. So your standard attack Marine actually has two wounds. Yeah, this here's my little Devastator. Yeah. Uh, with his last cannon. It's a lot of points for a one wound model, but uh, now it's a two wound model. They're on probably one of the units yeah. I'm most excited about getting a second wound. Yeah. Really, really excited for them to actually survive. <laughs> I'm so excited for the Vanguard veterans. Yes. Um, going up, and even just normal veterans. Here I have some veterans with uh, with multi meltas, mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden, jumping out of a rhino, you got 20 wounds. Jumping out of a drop pod, it's nasty. 20 wounds, it's good. I'm like really it. into it. It's, and, and they feel more like Space Marines, right? Yeah. The Intercessors, or yeah, the Intercessors are still. Uh, chonkier in a lot of ways. Yeah, they have plus one attack. Exactly. Which is a big thing. But they feel like they actually are both space marines in that yeah. regard. And of course the biker's getting another wound. That's really And awesome. the terminator's getting an extra wound. Oh my god, these Thunderhammer Storm Shield yes. terminators. Yeah. Now all of a sudden at three wounds. I love the way they feel on the table. I am honestly having a tough time not putting ten of them in all yeah. my lists. Now I don't have to play custodies anymore <laughs> because all space marines are custodies. That's right. And again, just to <laughs> re uh, re mention, terminators are core. Yeah. So they get all those same uh, re-rolls and benefits and everything. So they're still kicking. Get that extra wound for honestly a ridiculously modest and price. And I really want to say one of the yeah. secrets to getting these extra wounds has to do with transports, mm. right? Like this land raider here yeah. now holds a lot of wounds. Like if you right. put if you put uh, <laughs> veterans in here, yeah. this is like 20 wounds inside this thing, or 20, 24 wounds depending on the the land raider you have. That's a lot of wounds to have inside of a land raider to keep protected off the board. That's right. That's been such a big tactic, especially for us on the channel, is having those transports, yeah. having to pop the transports and then kill what's inside. One of those five attack squad, attack brains, it's like, eh, you could sneeze and they'll probably die. Yeah. But when that's 10, 20 wounds, suddenly that's much less reliable. So I agree. This is honestly going to see, I think, a, a, a huge increase in these types of units and really yeah. curious to see what the community comes up with in general. Yeah. Um, so another thing uh, that is changing about the army mm -hmm. is, uh, it's a big one, this idea of, again, chapter command, right? So we saw the introduction of limits on those certain characters. Yeah. Um, but it also comes into uh, what was originally the Psychic Awakening abilities, right? Yeah, that's right. This, this was, was in Faith and Fury. Faith and Fury. This was the ability to basically have special chapter master things, special uh, chief apothecary, master of sanctity. There was so many, those, yeah. Right? The, there was the banners, the chapter champions, and you can upgrade them for a CP mm -hmm. and then spend more CP to yeah. get them special warlord traits and relics. <laughs> and uh, they were all really cool but they've made them a lot better. they made them so much better, and they feel a lot better. Again, it was so much CP before. Yeah. Now, this is almost entirely back uh, over to points now. Yeah. So your Chapter Master, I believe it's about 40 points to just say, okay, now you're Chapter Master, you unlock, now you can get the Warlord trait or the Relic, yeah. um, which again, you could either just do for free or pay a couple of CP to just get that, right? And this is a huge change because Honestly, it felt bad to spend half your CP before the game started, right? Nobody liked that. And this whole no. game, ninth edition is all about giving you more CP. Yep. So spending that many, and especially now that you spent them on your data sheet, yep. it really was like, I really should just be spending points on this. Yep. And now that they've got, done that, it's good. And not only have they made it better the way you acquire them, but they've given some really interesting options to all of them mm -hmm. and made them better in a really particular way. We're a big fan of what they've done with the Apothecary. The Apothecary is seeing a massive change. So first of all, the Primaris Apothecary, um, and I believe the regular one as well, natively gives a six up feeling of pain to units within six inches, or three inches. Yeah. It's a short range, but it is just units, so you just touch into it. This used to be built into the chief apothecary rule, now it just gives it natively, which is amazing. Uh, the other thing that we really like about it is actually the way it got worse, because it's better for the game. That's right. It does not combine with the Iron Hands feeling of pain anymore. They basically don't get any, ben any benefit from that, uh, other than the other apothecary stuff. Yeah, so you used to get it a five up feel no pain with the Iron Hands, it was entirely yeah. unreasonable. It was, so it was unwarranted. Yeah. Way too big of a buff for nothing, for 60 points. So, um, so now they just get a 6-up, which they already have. Right. So you probably won't see that many Apothecaries. <laughs> Everyone has uh, an Iron yeah. Hands Apothecary, and they're going to sit on the shelf like, for a while. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, another cool thing, and I really like this change, um, now the ability to res a model to a unit yeah. is it's no longer, you don't have to roll for it, first of all, so that's great. Um, it just happens as long as you pay one command point that's right. to revi uh, revive a model to a unit at full wounds. So that's a big change. That is a very big change. <laughs> You've got a four wound Primaris Outrider over yep. here, a three wound Terminator coming back. Um, until they fack it, yeah. <laughs> you've got a six wound uh, uh, Invader ATV. ATVs. Um, obviously that has the biker keyword yeah. as of filming. Yeah. No one believes that's going to stay. I hope it doesn't but stay. But it's fine. It's it's fun to talk about <laughs> one CP to bring back a six wound vehicle. He's like, it's okay, Mario. We'll fix you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is, how is he fixing it? What? <laughs> I was... He's really a master mechanic. <laughs> the, that's the whole that's thing. That's true. That's true. Actually, it turns out Mario is also a cyborg. So, that's right. Know. 
Um, but anyways, that's great. It's a really powerful ability. And here's where the Chief Apothecary uh, comes in. Uh, if you are Chief Apothecary, that one CP strat costs zero. This is really elegant also Amazing. because it means you can't double res on multiple units, which you could before, but yes. it's automatic. Great changes. Um, a couple key ones to note. Um, I really like the the chapter master is again now part of these kind of rules. Yeah. So you get that. There's another way to it's regen some together. CP from him. Really cool. Really fun abilities. I love all of them. This is huge because you're going to see this in every single Space Marine game. Yeah. I bet almost no army will ever not at least upgrade one of these. Yeah. It's so common. It's so central, and it's it's like the backbone of this army. Even though yeah. not all of these are HQs, mm -hmm. they actually can define how your army plays they in a meaningful are. way. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for it, but I'm super excited for this next one. <laughs> um, this next one actually is the thing that during playtesting, mm. um, which is so long ago now, I was so excited for, and it's Duty Eternal. If you know that name, it's because that strat gives minus one to wound on Dreadnoughts, but instead of a strat, they mm. just gave it to all Dreadnoughts. <laughs> minus all, one damage. All, yeah, all Dreadnoughts have minus one damage by default. That's it's really, really big. <laughs> that strat used to be the end of games for me yeah. when played once or twice. Now all Dreadnoughts have it and their core. I love it. It's I loved so it. Good. I loved it during playtesting. I love it now. I love building all Dreadnought armies. Right. I love the upgraded, uh, <laughs> uh, what is it, Tech Marine? The yep. new Primaris Tech yep. Marine upgraded to uh, March with the Ancients. <laughs> That's and right. then just all Dreadnought Army, oh my that's gosh. my jam. It's so cool. And he can he can awaken them now, which is a yeah. new ability that all Tech Marines have. You can awaken a vehicle next to him, gives them plus one to hit. Yeah. Uh, really, really cool. I'm into it. Dreadnoughts are back in a huge way. Yes. Not that they ever truly left, but they just got more reliable. And again, we're not having to spend CP. Everything awesome. for 9th edition went in the favor of Dreadnoughts. They move and yeah. shoot, they shoot in combat, they fight up. Um, now they're minus one damage. Core keyword. So much good stuff going for Big them. Deal. I think you're going to see a lot of Dreadnoughts, people having a lot of fun with them. I would love to start playing a full Dreadnought army. Yes. we got to figure out which faction we want to do with. Definitely Space Wolves, but uh, oh, sure. we're, we're just with these. Which one to do? <laughs> Probably Iron Hands is a good example. Yeah. And we'll get, we'll get some more Dreadnoughts. It's definitely the most classic example. Um, and so, yeah, this is really exciting. Also yeah. raises uh, questions for me in the future as new units come out, as Forge World comes out. Yeah. What Dreadnoughts are going to get this? Oh, Super yeah. Super excited. Because uh, we don't have this extending to Forge World yet, no. but... It's a pretty good bet. Like, they've given it to all the Dreadnoughts. Forge World has a ton of Dreadnoughts. Mm -hmm. Imagine this on a Contemptor or a Leviathan. I'm you know, into it. That's what I'm thinking about. I want my quad heavy bolters yeah. plus Duty Eternal. So, so we'll see. Again, a lot of this is sort of a, um, a litmus test for rules to come, yes. things like that. So it's always a good way of sort of um, cautiously looking to the future. Yeah. Um, so another big change, which is probably going to shock a lot of people, the uh, transhuman physiology infamous infinite stratagem yeah. uh, a, you cannot be wounded on greater than on, on a less than a four plus. That's right. Now only works on Primaris units. Yeah, this is this are this stratagem. As soon as it came out, kind of defined the Space Marine yeah. meta. It meant that you put the Space Marine unit up, and they could truly tank anything. Yep. We've seen it win games almost most of the time Huge. it's played, and limiting it to Primaris is actually a big deal because of things like these. Uh, Terminators in particular. Yep. Terminators have been traditionally a great unit to do it on, and mm. now they're an even better unit. Right. Uh, so yeah. so would it be bikes and things like that. But uh, even the new Vanguard vets. Yeah, the Vanguard vets. Squishy. So that's actually that's actually a shame, and I think that's going to really change how people use that strategy. Yeah. It's also the final nail in the coffin to me on things like Smash Captains, Ooh, where right. you're not hitting as well, and now you're way less durable. That's Between right. that, the Storm Shield, you just you don't want to throw them in anymore. So that's a big change, and we're going to definitely be adapting to it. Uh, luckily, we have a lot of really cool, tasty Primaris models that can be sort of the tankier part of your army. Yeah, it's still good on Primaris, and Primaris are amazing. <laughs> um, and they're at this point, they're more than half the book, it feels like. It's crazy. So there's a lot of them. Um, another hit to Smash Captains, funny you should say, That's right. is they took away the ability for any unit in Space Marines to double fight. Uh, right now, it's 3 CP, um, and anyone could double fight. Right. Even uh, Gilliman, <laughs> which was totally and unreasonable. Um, but now, it's only the Assault Intercessors, right. which is actually a big change. It is a big change, and it's one that kind of parallels things that we're seeing in the Necron book, right. um, where these things are getting narrowed to very specific units. Yeah. At the end of the day, um, this is better for the game, right? Way better. This was a like double fight. It was happening so often. It's it was defining. taking so many CP. Absolutely. And so... Uh, ultimately, while some people might be kind of bummed about this, I think it is healthier for the game and yeah. us being forced, and I mean us as like a player community, forced to use other strats and things like that is great. It's no fun to be like, well, yeah. I'm going to double fight and then double fight and that's like six Yeah, CP. I'll double fight, you double fight, yeah. and then I'll double fight on your double Which fight. is the other thing, right? <laughs> I'm going to double fight, I'm going to kill you, you're going to fight on death, which you can now no longer do 
in, uh, if you've already fought this turn. Yeah, the final right. death, and this is something that they basically started the FAQ already. Yeah, they were faxing already, but it's this definitive is the first in the book. Here. Exactly. Yeah. So you basically you only use fight on death to make sure that you at least get to fight once. Yeah. So just they're sort really of confirming toning it. down the lethality of the game in general. Yeah. We're seeing you know this idea of the core keyword, less rerolls, these captains and everything less good. Um, they're taking it down just a just a notch. Yeah. And I think that's super healthy for the game. You don't want these just. Death Star blowout uh, moments where yeah. they just sweep through an army. Absolutely. Now the next change is one that is so massive. We'll probably be doing a video in the future entirely just on, on this it. topic. Yeah. But we do want to mention it because it's so important. War gear. Yeah. War gear. War gear. War gear. You guys have seen the the, the releases and the leaks and everything. Tons of changes to almost every, every piece weapon. of war gear. It's nuts. And one of the things they've done here, which I love so much, is they've made all the different war gear viable they've done really in a meaningful way. Now, yeah. not all the points all shake out perfectly, so there are more efficient options. Sure. But every piece of war gear has a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the prime examples for me yeah. is the power sword. Yep. Power sword is such an iconic. Uh, weapon for space marines in the lore on the models <laughs> and it was horrible because yeah. it was at strength four and you just never wounded a uh, space marine now just that plus one strength yep. makes it really truly interesting um and there's so many examples like that we've already seen the chain swords coming out to minus one that's great enormous change such a big change even like thunder hammers getting a nerf which was a good thing they're minus they're less yeah. one rend but then suddenly uh you have power fists actually are interesting things yeah. like that the uh the the chain power fist it's the chain D, fist, The chain yeah. fist is D3 damage or flat three against vehicles. We're like, Amazing. Finally, that one has been off kilter for like two editions now. That's right. And now it's an interesting choice. Uh, so again, tons of more content but to even, come about But even, you know, like here. Meltas do an extra damage. The Meltas um, are great. The, we've, the Heavy Bolter is going to be one of the definitive yes. weapons. Um, so many weapon changes, and it alters how you think about these units, mm. all the way down to the Storm Shield, which is a tectonic shift yeah. for the entire game of Warhammer. Right. Um, so much going on here with War Gear. And... Uh, one thing they've done well with the changes of war gear is they've actually started to add some more gradations back into the game. Mm. This was one of the critiques that we, even we had of when the points were released uh, during the summer. Things like storm shields are well, storm shields and thunder hammers are the right. two ones that come to mind, where they're actually adjusting based off of the unit much more. Right. For the vanguard vets, storm shields are now only four points. I Amazing. Believe. Very cheap. Thunder hammers, um, very cheap on those kinds of squads. Going up five points on intercessors because let's be honest, they have more attacks. They have more attacks. It's yeah, really it's good. More they're valuable. Tough. So that was a really nice change. Um, but in general, not only have they intelligent points changes, they're really good points changes. They're very powerful. We've been talking, we've had so many questions in chat lately, even during the live games about melting guns, heavy bolters, how many are you gonna run, how many are you gonna run? I'll tell you guys now, uh, on majority of units, those two guns did not change despite that they, in the fact that they just got better, yeah. which is our last point. The points in the book are ridiculous. They're very efficient, very yeah. <laughs> effective. <laughs> this army, um, if we haven't made it clear already, this army is still very, very good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not coming out here to say it's the best army in the sure. game. Uh, it's way too early to say that, but it is a very good army. Um, compared to the Necrons right now, it's in a, a better position, I think, coming yeah, out of the so. gate. Um, a lot of playtesting still to shake out here, but the points, especially on the new Primaris yep. units, um, we're thinking the heavy intercessors, the assault intercessors, mm -hmm. um, the outriders, the ATV, the ATV. All of these things have unbelievable point costs for what yeah. they do. The new, uh, the new shooty tanks, the gladiators the are gladiators. Great. They're crazy. The the points on them are yes. so good for what those tanks do. So. Um, that's one of the points that we really want to nail home here is that this is a points effective army mm -hmm. and you're going to get a lot of these really powerful units on the board. That's right. And so that is one of the biggest changes that you'll be seeing very soon as we have more games rolling out yeah. over this week, the coming week. We're going to have a ton of we content. We clearly have lots of games to play. <laughs> we're going to play with every this, one of these factions oh in gosh. the next coming weeks. We've already played with a couple mm -hmm. um, uh, by now, but uh, we've got a lot more coming. That's right. So if you did enjoy this, please do like and subscribe. Share with your friends. We're going to have massive coverage just continuing over the couple, yeah. next couple of weeks. We're so excited to explore this new book um, with, with uh, you guys and just here in, in the studio. Yeah, it's so gonna be great. let us know what you guys think. Um, also, wanted to mention, we do now have our Titans Pro uh, subscription. That's five bucks a month to support the channel, hang out with us. Uh, we have special Discord. We have uh, special emojis. Um, and you can actually start to, to influence the content that we actually release. So definitely check that out. It's a join button on our channel. Um, but otherwise, we are just happy to have you guys here hanging yeah. out with us. And we'll see you guys very soon on the tabletop.